Hello you guys, this is Warrington Filming, Painting, Decorating, Trade Secrets, the most popular channel on YouTube today. So anyway, welcome. And today I'm going to show you how to paint a swimming pool. Right then, as you can see, one big swimming pool, okay? So the first thing we've got to do is prep all the walls, which means basically form a key, ready it for the finished paint, right? So anyway, what you need, just get yourself any very, get yourself any coarse sandpaper. So you want a really coarse sandpaper for this particular finish, okay? So what I'll do, I've just got myself a pad here, really cool sandpaper or glass paper, whichever. And all I'm going to do is just give you a quick demonstration on what I'm going to do before I start painting it, okay? So basically, what we got to do is get rid of any water that's in the swimming pool, make sure it's all dry out, and just give it a good sand down. Now this big pool here will probably take me at least half a day to just prep it, okay? So I'm just going to show you just a small section here, and it's dead simple. Just like anything that you're going to paint, you've got to give it a bit of a key, and basically give it a bit of a rub down, okay? So all I'm going to do is this. remember when you're uh, sanding down, if possible, go in a circular motion, instead of just like that, try and do it in a circular motion, you cover more area by doing it that particular way. Obviously when you're coming towards right here, you've got some tiles, you know, you don't want to be scratching the tiles, so you have to go at that, that sort of angle, okay? So that's basically it. I've got a concrete swimming pool which is finished in, in concrete. It's been pre-painted before. The whole pool is dried out as you can probably see. Right? And it needs repainting. So all I've got to do is prep all the wall area, prep all the floor area, basically just sand it down with some coarse scratch. Okay? And then the next the next plan will be when it's all completely rubbed down is to uh, give it a good sweep out, get rid of any dust. So anyway, like I say, we'll, we'll get onto the next section of like sweeping the walls down. And uh, just to let, just to, just one thing to mention, I'm here in sunny Africa. Okay, so I'm showing you how to paint a swimming pool in Africa. Okay, right. We'll get on to the uh, sweeping down. Right, are oh, you guys finished prepping this whole pool area now? And as you can see, it's all been rubbed down. Floor area, wall area. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on uh, dusting it down. Like anything you're going to paint, you give it a rub down to form a key for the finished coat, and then you need to remove the dust that's uh, that you've left. Okay. So all you're going to need is just in a pool of uh, this size is just any uh, sweeping brush or broom, okay? And just dead easy, all you basically got to do is just dust it off. So basically, your dust brush is your broom, okay? So as you can see, just dusting it off. Needless to say, the reason you're using a broom is because if you were just using a normal dust brush, it'd probably take you a week to dust this place down. So, get a sweeping brush.
right. As you can probably see, I've created quite a quite a lot of dust here. Just by rubbing this place down. Right then, I'm not going to bore you with the whole dusting off process. Uh, it's going to probably take me at least an hour to get that sorted out. So, as you've seen, prepping it, <coughs> next stage, dust it all down, get all the dust down at the bottom of the swimming pool, get rid of the dust, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll show you what's coming next, i.e what paint I'm using, and uh, how to go about painting such a large area. Guys, now we're at the stage where we're going to, um, where I'm going to show you the tools that we need to do this particular job, and the paint, etc. I'm also going to show, show you what's called boxing the paint, which is basically mixing uh, a few tins of paint and uh, mixing them in, in, in a bigger tub, okay? So one of the first things you're going to need is this uh, nine inch roller, okay? Just a normal single arm nine inch roller. Uh, just some form of cutting in brush, could be that two inch size or a bigger brush. Uh, unfortunately this is the only size I've got available to me at the minute. Screwdriver for opening your tins, okay? Uh, you're also going to need some form of roller tray to put your roller in, nine inch rolling tray, a stir stick for mixing your paint, okay? Right in. Now as you probably uh, have already seen, this most swimming pools, if they're, they're a painted swimming pool, they want to be done in uh, like a bluish colour so you get a nice effect when you fill it up with water. Right, so what we've got <coughs> like I say, due to us being in uh, sunny Africa, we've got, um, I'm going to use a get, uh, five litres, which is a gallon of this uh, Astro gloss enamel paint, okay? So that, and I'm um, just look two normal tins of uh, undercoat, right? So what's going to happen is I'm going to box the two undercoat and the gloss. Um, together to form an eggshell finish. Now I have been painting this pool for a, a number of years and um, I've been painting this pool for a number of years and filling it up with water and uh, it seems to hold out quite well with using undercoat and gloss mixed together to form some form of eggshell, okay? Um, it seems to cope with the uh, the water being on top of the paint. Once, once the actual paint's dry and baked hard, uh, it seems to hold up quite well. A lot of people tend to use uh, what's called a, a, an aqua paint. It's a water-based swimming pool paint. But in Africa, that tends to be like overpriced and very expensive. So what, what we're using is, like I say, we're gonna use an eggshell finish. And due to it being quite hot in this country, Right, I'll, I'll paint the, the, the pool out and um, it'll, uh, it'll get baked to a point where it's quite hard in the swimming pool, which will last you know, a good few years with the water on, on top of this, this particular paint. But if you've got the money, by all means buy the water-based uh, aqua paint, okay? So these, this, Three gallons of paint should get me one coat on this swimming pool. Uh, preferably, you, you do need two coats, okay? So I'm just gonna show you uh, the boxing up of uh, this particular paint, okay? Guys, nice. now we're gonna box this paint up. Like I say, we've got two tins of white undercoat and uh, a tin of royal blue. So when I mix this uh, royal blue, which is a dark blue, with the white undercoat, okay, we're going to form some form, some we're going to form some sort of colour similar to this 
this type of glue, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tip, tip the undercoating and tip all, tip all the undercoating and tip the gloss in and uh, stir it up, which is basically, like I say, boxing it together. Okay, so let's get started. Right. Right. So that's uh, one undercoat. One white undercoat. Two white undercoats. I'll actually uh, drain this, drain what's left out of the tins in a minute. And here we go. One full tin of uh, high gloss, navy blue. Right, so that's the two undercoats. Two white undercoat and one gloss. So stir that up. With a bit of luck, it'll be a bit darker than what I put on last time, which is what I'm hoping for. Just make sure you get yourself a, a big enough bucket to accommodate whatever paint you're going to tip into it. Okay. Now I'm not going to add any turps or anything to this at precise moment because with it being hot here, the paint is quite uh, quite thin due to the heat heat on the tin so it'll, it's fairly fairly watery as you can see uh, this is oil based paint by the way not water based I'm, I'm, go I'm going to be using uh, a form of eggshell which is oil based to paint this pool and like I say once the sun's been hitting it for a couple of days after it's been painted um, you know it will bake to the point where it's quite hard which means, with a bit of luck, it should last a couple of years at least with the water on top of it. Right then, so, that's all mixed up and ready to go. That's like one good, one good stir now, so. Okay. Right, okay. Right then, that's all mixed up, ready to go. So all I'll do is I'll just tip a, a small amount of this into my roller tray. And uh, first of all, I'm just going to do a little bit of cutting in and then I'll start rolling. So I'll show you. As you can see, I've just started cutting in with this nice blue. Uh, luckily, it has turned out to be quite a lot darker, which I'm happy with. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of cutting in and then I'll uh, show you me rolling the wall. Okay. Right, so all I'm doing here now is just cutting into the tiles. Um, like I say, you, you will need you will need quite a a decent cutting in brush. So just check out some of my other videos on uh, how to shape a paintbrush, and you'll get the correct type of brush for. Uh, for cutting it, okay. Just use, just use any new brush. You might find it a little bit difficult to uh, cut into any tiles or to any surface. So, like I say, just check out some of my other videos, and it will give you a good idea of what type of uh, type of brush you need. Okay. So all I'm doing here is just cutting in, ready for the roll off. And uh, I'm also just putting a little coat on, on, on the bottom area to save you going up to it with a, with a roller. Right 
Right, so that's basically what you've got to do, literally cutting, just cutting the section that you want to roll, okay? So cutting like this section all the way to the end, and then roll the whole section, then do another section, okay? So uh, I'll just finish cutting this in, and then I'll show you me rolling it. As you can see, I've cut all this side in now, and cut all this side in. So now I'm good, just going to show you me rolling it, okay? Like I say, you'll need a nine inch rolling tray, or any tray or scuttle, it don't matter. You can even use a bigger roller if you've got one, okay? Uh, and then just load your roller up in the blue eggshell, and uh, start rolling. So I'm just going to show you rolling, me rolling this side up to the end there, okay, for now. Right, this is this is like a, a, a medium pile sleeve, so I'm not putting uh, too much on in one go. Don't really matter what direction you go with the with the rolling. Okay. Just make sure you cover. Make sure you cover all the surface because if it's a concrete swimming pool like this one, you do get uh, imperfections in the concrete. So you've got to make sure you fill them little holes up. Like I say, with this um, undercoat gloss mix, which is basically eggshell, uh, this is just going on straight out of the tin. I've not actually put any uh, oil up in, in this paint, okay? The you novice, oil means turtle or white spirits.
Right then, as you can see, that's basically what you've got to do, cut in a section and roll a section. I've actually just run out of paint now, so I'm going to reload up and uh, I'll show you uh, a little bit more as I get down the pool. As okay. you can see, I have now painted all round the sides of the swimming pool in the eggshell on top of concrete okay now some people will say i have i have had some people say how do you get rid of the orange peel if you're using a roller right an orange peel effect is what you're going to get um, you can get rid of the orange peel on a, even on a large surface like this but um, that means you just got to lay it off with a brush. So the quickest method of rolling big surfaces like this is with a roller, but you are going to get orange peel, okay? And uh, I definitely am not laying this lot off with a brush. Right, so my next plan of action is I'm going to start rolling the floor area, okay? And as you can see, um, I'm tired of uh, rolling the floor now and I've got my young apprentice uh, doing a little bit of painting. As they say, start them young. So there you go, my little uh, apprentice learning how to roll the floor. How's it going apprentice? Are you happy in your work? Yes. Look at me. Yes. As they say, why bark yourself if you've got a dog? My young apprentice doing the painting. Lovely job, brilliant. Uh, here's another one of my apprentices. Uh, as, as I say, start him young. So here he is painting the floor of the swimming pool, which he is going to have hours of fun in. So, there you go, another one of my apprentices, and there's my other apprentice. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I think I might just get him painting the whole floor to save me doing it. Lovely job, Brandon. Thank you. And uh, just like to take this opportunity to promote Fun Kids Filming, plenty of entertaining videos on Fun Kids. Hey guys, um, as you can see, I started rolling the floor, okay, all the sides are done. So dead simple uh, rolling a floor, anybody can do it, even a young apprentice, right? Dead easy, just load your roller up with paint and uh, roll away. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration, okay? <coughs> Obviously, I'm not going to paint the, uh, show you a whole video on how to paint the floor. And it's as simple as that. So I'll just do one more dip. All you need is your roll up, whichever size roller you decide to use, and uh, some form of roll up on, and just uh, roll the floor. Just load your roll up with enough paint to do uh, probably a square metre. And it's as simple as that. No intelligence needed. So, anyway. As you can see, uh, I'm on the final stages of uh, rolling the floor. Uh, I'm going to get the whole floor rolled and then I'll just give you uh, a look at what, it, what the finished article looks like. Okay? So, uh, I'll Guys, you as you can see, the swimming pool has now been completed. That's all the sides and the flooring. Okay? That took me about a day to, to roll out. Um, like I say, uh, I painted this swimming pool in uh, an eggshell finish 
and as you probably noticed from the preparation preparation stage that uh, the paint does seem to hold up uh, when it's uh, submerged under the water okay so even though uh, it's an eggshell and not like um, a pro like a proper swimming pool paint like an aqua paint it does hold up when it's uh, underwater okay so anyway that's all finished two coats on there that took me about uh, 30 to 35 litres of paint to double coat that so that's how you paint a swimming pool um, Wallington filming, painting and decorating, trade secrets, uh, thanks to all my subscribers, don't forget to subscribe yourself, um, thumbs up and comment most welcome, until next time, catch you later.